So many years ago, when I was 19 years old, I had a meeting with a man that I'd never met before that was introduced to me by my brother. And this man was very successful financially, with his family, as a philanthropist, as a businessman. And he asked me one question that defined the trajectory of my life. And the question he asked me was, was I interested in achieving my life's goals and dreams? or was I committed to achieving them? And he said, if I was interested, I would do what's convenient, but if I was committed, I would do whatever it takes. And Mr. Alan Brown said to me, he says, John, he says, if you're interested, you'll do what's convenient. You'll believe your stories and excuses, and you'll continue to be a victim of your current reality and circumstances. You'll come up with all the reasons why you can't achieve those goals, and that's what you will be focusing on for the rest of your life. He said, and the big difference is if you're committed, you'll start today to let go of your stories, your excuses, your reasons why you're achieving your certain results right now and why you can't achieve any of those goals and dreams you wrote down on this piece of paper. So if you're committed, you'll upgrade your knowledge. If you're committed, you'll upgrade your skills. If you're committed, you'll come in every single day and figure out how you can achieve those goals and why you must versus why you can't and why you won't. And after he explained the difference between interest and commitment to me, I put my hand out and I shook his hand and I said, Mr. Brown, I'm committed. Now, I was scared shitless to say that I'm committed because I had to let go of all of my reasons why I couldn't achieve my goals and dreams. And the very act of writing my goals and then saying to him and then to myself, make a commitment to myself to be committed I started to achieve the financial and life goals and dreams that I wrote down on that piece of paper. And not only did I achieve every one of those, I way, way, way exceeded every single goal. That's when my whole life changed. One commitment, one moment in my life. I said that I was committed to my financial and health and and relationship and career and business and charitable goals and the travel goals and the health goals I had. I was committed to all my goals. He said, great. Well, the first action steps towards commitment is to develop a plan for how you're going to actually achieve those goals. So here's my question for you. Are you interested in achieving your financial and health and relationships and career and business goals and your travel goals, or are you committed? Now, if you're committed, here's what I'd like you to do. Take a sheet of paper and write down one goal for every area of your life. Health, wealth, relationships, career, business, charitable. And write down one goal and when you want to achieve it by. And then what I want you to do is write down three action steps that you can take towards achieving those goals. Write down what do you need to learn, what do you need to believe, what do you need to do. Take those things, put those right on your calendar with a time by which you are going to complete those things. And if you can do that for each one of your goals, if you can focus on the goal you want to achieve, three action items towards achieving those goals and a specific timeline by when you're going to achieve it by, you are going to be the type of person that achieves your goals and dreams versus the person who hopes and prays and wishes that those goals and dreams become a reality. The person who achieves goals and dreams takes consistent daily, weekly, monthly actions towards those goals and dreams. And they don't allow their stories or their excuses or the reasons or circumstances to hold them back. They are committed to achieving their goal no matter what. That's the attitude. That's the mindset that you have to have. And you have to have absolute resolve that you will do whatever it takes. So, are you interested or are you committed?